Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to compare two RTX 2060s, but one is a 6 gigabyte card, and another one here is one of the new 12 gigabyte RTX 2060s. And so this GPU did come out a couple months ago, and I know I'm late in trying to get these hash rates for you all. And I just want to touch on, I guess, the difference from what I understand is the 2060 12 gigabyte card has a little bit more CUDA cores, it's got a little bit more TMUs, I believe it has the same ROPS, it's got the same GDDR6 memory, and it also has the same memory bus width as well. And so other than the little difference of a little bit more CUDA cores and TMUs, is that it also has double the memory from the 2060 gigabyte card, which uh, this generation of card has been out for quite a long time now. Anyways, let me go ahead and plug these GPUs into my test bench and we will get started in seeing what the Ethereum hash rate is for both of these GPUs and we'll see what the power consumption is as well. And we'll do a whole bunch more coins. All right, see you guys at my test bench. And thank you for today's video sponsor, nerdgears.com. If you guys are interested, they sell a lot of different crypto mining hardware, such as risers, splitters, uh, metered PDUs. This is actually one of my favorite products that I use. And you guys have seen them on my channel. And notably, they also have graphics cards in stock right now. They accept crypto for payment. They also ship worldwide and their customer support is just amazing. So thank you, nerdgears.com. Guys, go check it out. Link down below. All right, guys, first off, we got Ethereum testing on these 2060s and the 2066 gigabyte, which is GPU zero, is getting 33 mega hash. And the GPU one is going to be the RTX 2060 12 gigabyte and I don't know why it says graphics card here but it's getting 36.21 mega hash this is what I can get and you may be looking at the power consumption right now and are like what the heck Red Panda that's a pretty big difference and if you look at the PMDs you can see that the 12 gigabyte is taking almost 90 to 100 watts and then the 2066 gigabyte is only using about 67 to 75 watts or something so i wanted to quickly talk about that right now is that these 2060s and you can see the device name for the for the 12 gigabyte card I, maybe hive os has not uh, updated the naming on this but anyways both of these gpus right the 2066 gigabyte one here has samsung memory and then the 12 gigabyte one here has micron gddr6 memory 12 gigabytes so i am that's what i'm going to contribute it to as to why the power consumption is so much more on the micron and i have noticed this on other micron gpus such as my rx 6600 xts i actually have uh, i have a couple samsung and a couple micron memory 6600 xts and i've noticed that the micron actually takes more power than the Samsung memory ones. Samsung memory always, in my experience, takes a little bit less power. And that also goes along with other Samsung memory GPUs that I've tested in the past. They just run a lot more efficient than the Micron memory. So I don't know if this video, it's kind of flawed now because I have two different memory types, but like the same GPUs. But we're going to continue. As long as I told you guys that, you guys can let me know what you think about that. But anyways, yeah, the Samsung 2066 gigabyte is doing really well, extremely efficient, okay? And if you look at the hash per watt metric here in T-Rex Miner, yeah, the 2066 gigabyte is a lot more efficient than the 12 gigabyte at this moment. Now, I wonder if there's any Micron memory 6 gigabyte 2060s. You guys can let me know. This is my only 2060 I have. So if there's anyone out there that has a Micron memory 2060 6 gigabyte, let me know what your numbers are in HiveOS or Windows or whatever if, when you're mining Ethereum. So anyways, guys, there you go. That's the hash rate for the 12 gigabyte RTX 2060. And actually, I'm also wondering if there's a Samsung 
12 gigabyte 2060 as well. You guys can let me know down below. All right, guys, let's go try another coin. Let's go try Raven coin next. Okay, we are mining Raven coin. And right off the bat, the 12 gigabyte card is doing a little bit better at the same overclock settings I'm using for both of these GPUs. And you can see here, these are the overclocks I'm using 100 core, 1200 memory, 125 PL, and they can get about 17 to 18 mega hash. Now, this EVGA 6 gigabyte card is getting a little bit hot, and so it's probably going to start potentially throttling down really, really soon as this algorithm is extremely hot for mining. And yeah, but anyways, it looks like both of these GPUs get relatively almost the same hash rate. But of course, it goes back to this 12 gigabyte card that has a little bit more CUDA cores and TMUs. And so I think that's why it gets a little bit better in terms of hash rate uh, on, core, I guess, core dependent algorithms uh, like Ravencoin. And I'm, I'm going to assume the same thing's going to happen with the other coins coming up here, uh, which I want to try right now. So let's try another coin. Okay, we are mining Cortex next here, and I just wanted to show this real quick because the 2060 6 gigabyte is unable to mine Cortex because of the VRAM requirement, which is 6 gigabyte, and we can see it right here. The out of memory failed to initialize miner on GPU 0, EVGA, NVIDIA, 2060 6 gigabyte, out of memory. And this is within Linux, okay? So... That's a win, I guess, for the 12 gigabyte 2060 here that it can mine Cortex no problem because of the VRAM requirement. So anyways, I guess, yeah, that's one thing I, I thought of right away. So I wanted to show this coin right away. Anyways, let's go try another coin. Okay, we are mining Flux next. And uh, I did have to up the power, uh, sorry, the fan on both the GPUs because this algorithm... I guess along with Ravencoin, it, it gets pretty hot. So uh, as I am using more a little bit more power limit here, uh, the, the temperature did go, did go up to about 70 degrees Celsius, 71. Uh, but I just changed the fan to 100. You can see the temperature going down. Anyways, we are getting, let's just see here, uh, around 40 souls, pretty much 40 souls for each of these 2060s. The exact same overclocks, uh, core at 140, memory at 1200, power limit 125, and yeah, uh, maybe the 2060 12 gigabyte is getting a little bit better sometimes in terms of hash rate sometimes, so I guess that maybe is due to a little bit more core CUDA cores uh, like we talked about in the beginning. Okay, so guys, yeah, that's the flux hash rate I can achieve on these GPUs. I did try to go to one like 135, 140 PL, but I only went up like two or three souls, so I thought, you know what, I think 125 PL is like the perfect, I would say around the perfect efficiency level uh, for these 2060s. 40 souls, that's that's honestly pretty good. That's that's really good. I know my 1070s though can get like 37, 38 at like 137, 140 PL, maybe not as efficient as these 2060s of course. But not bad. But anyways, yeah, at the PMDs, the power consumption is, yeah, it's fluctuating a lot on both GPUs, but relatively, they're pretty much the same. The, the Samsung 2060 is taking a little bit less, according to the software, but the 12 gigabyte is, yeah, they're pretty much the same. Anyways, let's try another coin. Okay, we are mining Ergo, and I decided to use Absolute Core Lock for this. And you can see here that the 2060 6 gigabyte is extremely efficient. Like it's it's taking like 20 watts less than the 12 gigabyte. But of course the 12 gigabyte card is getting a little bit more mega hash here on Ergo. And if we look at it here, about three or four mega hash more. But the power consumption for the 12 gigabyte, yeah, is about 20 watts more. You guys can see here. And so the 2060 is a little bit more efficient Definitely a lot more efficient than the 12 gigabyte for Ergo. But one thing I want to try right now is changing the absolute core number here to just like the normal, like let's say one, 140. And uh, yeah, we'll do 2000 power limit. Let's just try, you know, let's try 110. I I'm, just, I'm just putting a number out there. And we'll just see how this behaves. 
and see if the power consumption once the power consumption goes both to 110 then that means theoretically the hash rate should really go up for both these gpus but whether or not they can attain the same hash rate that's what i'm curious to know uh, because of the different CUDA cores on the 12 gigabyte card versus the 6 gigabyte card so I just changed it and let's just see if it's going to update here in real time and nope I got a error GPU driver it says Nvidia settings applied with errors okay so that's not a good sign it's frozen so I'm going to go ahead restart the miner and I, I think 140 PL might be one 140 core might be a bit too high let's just try 125 and uh, power limit yeah one 110 should be fine should be fine okay it's it's starting back up let's see what this does and it looks like and it looks like it says it's got an error again so is 2000 memory a bit too high for these gpus for ergo that's let's just see it's partially it's building the dag so let's let this go real quick and I want to do this real time with you guys because I, I'm very curious. I'm very, very curious to know. Okay, so here we go. 132 mega hash. Okay, and I don't think the hash rate go went up at all. If not, the, the power consumption has definitely gone up, but the mega hash has not. So I think with Ergo, yes, the best hash rate or overclock numbers we should be using is absolute core clock on these 2060s yes definitely oh my god 64 68 i'm getting the nvidia settings applied with errors it's 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 not even it's you, you can see the power consumption at the pmds they're over 100 watts 144 163 Whew. yeah we're getting the same ergo hash rate so yeah absolute core clock is what we want to do anyways you guys saw that before and uh, let's go ahead and try another coin now okay we are mining conflux and yeah the 2066 gigabyte card is is beating the 12 gigabyte card by a little bit and well in terms of power consumption that's it's actually beating it by a lot <laughs> the hash per watt is definitely much better because of course samsung memory so i i feel like this test is kind of it's kind of bunked now unless there was a samsung memory 12 gigabyte card then that would be a little bit more apples to apples because we have different memory types here anyways here's the numbers guys just to show you conflux not bad pretty good 80 90 watts on the 6 gigabyte and about 106 watts according to the software and at the pmd it's pretty much correct 106 watts on the 12 gigabyte so that's uh that's conflux okay so let's try another coin i want to try conceal Okay, we're mining Conceal, and the, yeah, I mean, very similar results in terms of efficiency. The 2060 is doing pretty good in terms of the power consumption, you guys can see at the PMDs. Uh, but the 12 gigabyte card isn't doing too bad. So each of these GPUs, we're getting 1.077 on the 6 gigabyte and 1.157 on the uh, 12 gigabyte. So we're getting a little bit more out of the 12 gigabyte in terms of the conceal uh mining conceal which is which is great so that means the core is definitely helping a lot having a, a bit more cuda cores is giving that little bit more hash rate but the power consumption is a, is a lot more as well i'd say like 15 20 watts more 18 watts more anyways guys that's that's conceal let me see if i can try another coin real quick here Okay, we are mining Firo, and I just decided to just do this for like an hour, and also at 150 PL, or power limit, in Hive OS. So we are, yeah, 150 PL, 120 core, 2000 memory, 100% fan, as uh, this is a hot algorithm, and so, yeah, this GPU is pumping out a lot of heat right now, as uh, you can see the temperature of the EVGA, 6 gigabyte, 68 degrees Celsius, it's getting pretty hot. Anyways, though. Looking at the hash rate, okay, this is what we're trying to compare here, uh, and the power consumption, is that the hash rate is a little bit higher, I've noticed, on the 12 gigabyte. And so that's a given, as we talked about before, with the a little bit of CUDA cores and TMUs, if that helps, if anything at all. 
uh, just a little bit of more Cuda cores. It looks like it, it, it does a little bit better on Ravencoin. And uh, so, or sorry, Firo. So Fir Firo and Ravencoin, they pretty much have the exact same algorithm. It's based on the ProgPal algorithm. And so there's FearPal, KaPal, and there's ProgPal. The power consumption is also relatively the same. And if we're looking at the PMDs, power measuring devices, they are 152, 155. They're pretty much the same as well from the 12 gigabyte to the 6 gigabyte mining Firo. All right, so there you guys go. I'm gonna just, we're gonna come out here and I'm gonna show you guys my setup here and just conclude some things. Okay, so we just did a lot of different hash rates for each of these GPUs. You guys can see on my little ITX test bench. And yeah, that was a lot of fun. I kind of just wanted to conclude this video that, you know, since we had a Samsung memory, 2060 six gigabyte, and then we had a Micron memory, 2060 12 gigabyte, we did notice that on Ethereum, this GPU was definitely a lot more efficient just because of the memory. But then when it came to doing the like more core dependent algorithms, you know, even like ProgPow, I think Conflux, uh, you know, those types of coins, we didn't really see much of a difference, right? We didn't see much of a difference, but when it came to the Ethereum, or sorry, memory-based algorithms, then that's where we really see, you know, depending on the memory that the GPU has, it can vary. In performance so we've noticed and I mean I think you guys can also attest to Samsung memory graphics cards are definitely a lot more efficient compared to Micron or maybe even Hynix uh, sometimes Hynix memory GPUs it, it, it just all depends but in, in this case here that the 2060 12 gigabyte card is it good to buy that versus like a, a 6 gigabyte and I'm just gonna say that it depends right if silicon lottery if you get a Samsung Micron or Samsung Micron 12 gigabyte, you, you have absolutely no idea. But ultimately, looking at the numbers, if you were able to get Samsung on any of these GPUs, it would be totally fine. It would be such a great buy. But obviously with the 12 gigabyte card, it's nice to have that extra VRAM. So, you know, we can mine Cortex. As you guys know, we did have an issue with mining Cortex on the six gigabyte 2060. So that did not work. And so that's only if you really want to mine Cortex, then, uh, You'd, you'd get the higher VRAM GPUs, uh, not the six gigabyte. But anyways, guys, I guess you saw the information. Let me know down below what you think of the comparison that we just did here, showing you guys the power consumptions. I showed you guys the overclocks, but I think it begs the question, is the RTX 2060 12 gigabyte card a great buy for mining? Comparing it to, let's say a 6600 XT, it's gonna be a lot more efficient. And if you were comparing the Ravencoin results, then yeah, the 6600 XT is definitely better than this GPU in that regard. But when it comes to other algorithms and the price of this GPU, I, I think I would probably go for a 6600 XT. Yeah, overall, generally overall. But you guys can let me know what you think. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one and peace out.